I got an 11 o'clock appointment. My, my sight has gone way, way down. It, Oh, really nothing that can be done. This is pretty fair. This is for Grandpa. Yeah. Oh, no. It's not my birthday. I wish. No, I didn't want any of that. That's food. You can eat Yeah. That. I brought you something to eat. <laughs> that's Fine. a pretty, uh, that's an expensive uh, change. He doesn't cook. I was telling him. Can you the spaghetti? I'll cook it for him. And, and, uh, and oh, okay. I don't want to do a lot of cooking. And I don't remember what all else is in there. But he, could, he, he could make eggs and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, so. I gotta look at the card. Oh! Peter and I need more. That time got away. What does it say? Poem. To Dad on your 90th birthday, October 8th, 1995. From 1905 to 95, what a time to be alive. Think of all that's come and gone, two world wars, the atom bomb. Reflect on how the years have gone in New York, Hillside, Newark, and California. Then on to Miami with your dear wife before coming to Naples for the rest of your life. You've lived through quite a century from before electric to atom energy. This is what I was thinking about. This Something is like via TV with instant replay of every politician's decree. Broadway is far off, but we see many shows and the news is repeated till everyone knows. Just think what you yourself have done in the many years that have come and gone. From delivery boy with horse-drawn cart to electrical contractor, now poems from the heart. <laughs> Fifty, what's it say? Fifty-eight great years with the love of your life. How many so fortunate to have such, had such a wife. The years that she's gone, are all the more lonely for the love and devotion she gave to you only. But together you raise a family who cares for you, for each other, and always shares. Fine grandchildren now grown to be at your side, and great-grandchildren too, to fill you with pride. As you mark this occasion of nine decades past, no doubt you'll exclaim, it sure went fast. <laughs> May your years ahead fill with love and peace and keep building fond memories that never cease. That's nice. That's good. Very good. Love Bunny. Yeah. She writes great. Yeah. Must be in the family, huh? <laughs> you tell me what it says. It says, it you. says um, happy birthday, Grandpa. Oh, I didn't see that. No, you read it to the further. No. It says, happy birthday, Grandpa, first, right? Yeah. 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 You no, handsome stud. Whoa. <laughs> Woo! Why do we show that to Betty? <laughs> Damn it, am I wound? <laughs> now you'll have to live up to your reputation. Maybe it'll help. <laughs> Does it say happy birthday, Grandpa, on there? I wrote that. Oh, well, you wrote no. That. No, that oh, you wrote on. that, yeah. No, yeah. the happy birthday was on there. Yeah, yeah. And then Grandpa written out. That's, that's good. <laughs> oh, I never would have thought of giving him something like that. See, we got to use a little great day on your, uh, 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 nice and easy on your Not hair. Not yet. A little longer. Actually, your hair is more what, is, uh, black than it was. It was used to always be so reddish, you know? I I'm lucky that I, 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 I
Hey, they, no, I need a chase like I need a hole in my head. I got. Oh, look at that nice shirt. Yeah, the county. That's for Yeah, bro, I was trying to go for a penny, and they rolled that down. Oh, Leo, that's a nice. Sarah, put this on the bar, please. That would give a steady source of revenue they could rely on. You know, I, 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 I found the shirt in the drawer. Look at this. This is nice. Look at it. I got a whole other great dancer here. What? <laughs> That too. <laughs> so, Mom, you should have hired a dancer for today. That's yeah, I was thinking of that. Maybe have a great day that's happy and a year that brings They've done that at work. What are you wishing for? They hired strictly. You got a call. I booked it. I booked it. You know, George Burns. You me and George Burns. George Burns is not going to. Play it. No. No. He, he can't make it. I knew he couldn't make it. I wanted to bet money. I'm not a bet. I told someone, I'll bet you he'll never make it. You know why? What's going on here? I saw him on TV. He could hardly walk. Oh, it zooms out. Well, that's very nice. Thank you. Well, I murder things. Look what I'm doing. Oh, well. I'm a you need a new shirt. All your shirts are this morning. Are in the closet. You wore them many times. You get a nice new one. That's nice. You know, I gotta wear that with a tie. No, you don't. Oh, look at that. What's he got there? A sweater and a wallet or something. That looks like a wallet box. Yeah. And did, did and Trudy just gave me a wallet. Well, you have two now. One for Sunday, one for Monday, one for Tuesday. <laughs> one to go to City <laughs> One for twenty dollar bills, one for hundred. <laughs> she says she has to get on for a couple Bucks days. So yeah. I figure, well, if I tell yeah. TJ, I don't care. I'm going to go swimming. Uh, you can come to the Did TJ tell you to read your mail that day, or did you see it before he told you? He. Oh, that's the nice Jill business. Yeah, you know what? I gotta tell you this. I have a woman who walks for wellness with me. I've had a dance. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, there's a page in it. Yeah. She bothered me and bothered me. When is my birthday? So about three weeks ago, I get a card for my birthday. And do you know what? She must have went around, God only knows where, and she got a card with 90th birthday. Yeah, I've seen them. I've, I haven't you seen know what? them. I, I saw couldn't a, find one. I saw a 90th, yeah. but I didn't buy it because you know what? the same she thing saw me. It was like a cold... Wait, it didn't apply. I wanted to make him young. I didn't want to make Yesterday. Yeah, she it saw me. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, she, yes, she, yesterday. Like she said, when is your birthday? It was like one friend to another. I, that's why I didn't get it. But I thought even so, who's a 90-year-old car? You can't read it? Yeah. Yeah. No. It's okay. No, doesn't matter. So You'll be able to read it. <laughs> Maybe that's a little hope. Can you read it? For both of us, has been so much. Everything you've done for both of us has meant so much. So we're sending you our love and thanks. Looks good to me. With wishes for happiness. Oh, that's right. Fits me perfect, Grandpa. A happy birthday. Wishing you the best. So did you get a little bit of that hurricane? Ninety. And many right. more. Right. Love Judy Love and Egon. Beaches. Thank you okay. very much. Yeah. Yeah. That's Judy and Egon. You want a nice one? Of course. I have a nice one. 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 Okay. Yeah. You. Or you want, you want beer, sir? Yeah. You yeah. read this one. Hope you have a birthday that's happy in a year that you thank all you're wishing for. I you know what they say? Grin and bear it. Grin and bear Anybody want wine? Hey, Mom, Mom gave me a new uh, myself telling your stories with a point of the finger which looks and feels like I am 
doing a grandpa imitation. I have borrowed my guest gestures from you. I sing, I did it my way on the <laughs> oddest moments because it fits what I did and I think of you. On your 50th or 90th birthday. <laughs> He's trying hard to be 50 again. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm, I'm getting blurred a little bit. Um, I, I, I got to And how much you have been an influence. I may not have been a great writer of letters. I may not be very good at acknowledging gifts and cards. I may even be imp impolite at times, but if you can forgive these character flaws, you will recognize that I am in many ways, in words and in deeds, your grandson. <laughs> if I should be blessed to be 90 years young, I hope that I will have had a strong influence on my grandchildren. On this air of young Kipper, I ask you to forgive me for my shortcomings. I understand that life has been quite a challenge for you lately. Yet, very every letter I read from you is a cheerful salutation. I hope that your pain is ceased in the, com the coming year and that you may experience the rest and ease in, in the coming year. Oh, that you may experience the rest and relaxation, the company of friends and the love of your family that is yours too. Yeah. 10 95 a note, everyone here wishes you well. A happy birthday greeting from all of the Nippon Teeny Millman clan and in, Alta, uh, in Allen, it's him here, in Allentown. Don't know where we will be. We'll get down to Florida again, but we sure would like to hope about reading up some Florida sunshine. Oh, how about sending up? Uh, read it. Oh, your grandson. Yeah, I think there's a letter from Emily next. Hello, all. I'm just postponing paper writing by playing around with the computer, maybe. Dad reminded me that Grandpa Kleiner's birthday is Sunday, so I am writing to say happy birthday, Grandpa, and also just to touch new face with you all via modern technology. Uh, Ain't it grand? Uh, Hampshire is great and it's making me think a lot and question everything I have been told up to now. This should have interesting results. I'm wondering if you guys read my L.A. Wise old paper. I'd love <laughs> to hear <laughs> feedback <laughs> if you've got any. Well, enough time spent putting off the inevitable. Now I am off to slay dragons, or at least to write an essay on progressive education. Shalom, you all. Love. Emily. Mark, did you buy a house? I put an offering on this, this lot. It's just a lot? It's just a lot? It's a lot. Oh, you're going to build? 
So put an offer. Well, how will how will offer that? Someone owns it up from Michigan, so they oh. don't even know what's going so on. So you're all put it off land. This is the Highlands right here. The higher. These are. This is. This is about. I feel like the Highlands is all wealthy. Mark's wealthy. Did you know Mark's wealthy? This is all the higher. Who works at the Marriott? This is all the high. 17 feet? Yeah, from Marco. <laughs> is this where you took me to the Indian Hills? This is here. This is the Indian Hills right here. This is all Indian Hills. And these are where we run our bikes through that truck? But they're giving them opportunities to use it up with the I want to. I talked to this guy. It's That's for vegetarians too. It's, it should have been a little longer, but I got it. I got it. So it's hot in the middle, yeah, but if I left it in the middle longer, it would have gotten like it. It's a lasagna. I always have to try something to say, you know, but it was all of us don't eat meat anymore. What's the best label then? This is, some people don't like that. This is. Uh, I see you can put it down with a so got your Cuban bread. Too. Take your oh, plate and then I, um, yeah. yeah, ask him the score, Mark. Ask him what the ball game score is. Richard? <laughs> ask him who's ahead in the Cincinnati Reds game. All I can say is this is a pleasant surprise. I didn't anticipate it. I didn't want it, but I... Now that I've got it, I'll accept it. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll love it, right? All right. And I'm going to do it this uh, one little, oh, I knew little, it. little poem. It's not the things that can be bought that are life's richest treasures. It's just those little heart gifts that money cannot measure. A cheery <laughs> word, a friendly smile, sympathetic nod. These are the priceless treasures from the storehouse of our God. These are the things that can't be bought with silver or with gold for thoughtfulness and kindliness and love and never sold. These are the precious things in life for which no one can pay and the giver gets rich recompense in giving them away. Cheers. 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 Health and happiness. <laughs> you just okay. Because you sit down where there's a setting, move it somewhere else. I mean, we're all amongst family. Okay. Yeah. Dad's stay on the chair. Shoes on. Butter on it. I didn't think to put butter on it. Sarah, do you open up those dishes? This is chicken Florentine, some chicken and noodles, uh, eggplant, and lasagna. Pretty good. Oh, you gave them to her? They're good ones. The, half, the other half is set of Grandpa's set. He gave me. Did you? Yeah. My friend Jean thought Mark was so cute, my black friend. That was it was the okay. How's your cute little brother? <laughs> she asked me. Is this okay? Good. Good. I think so. Because I, so. I told her that. that was well, I told her that I thought you had. That's the I, that you bought the lot on Marco Island. I was talking about to walk the temple. Friday You'll not have to ride on the high holy days. Yeah. Rest the church. Good morning. Just, uh, well, see. The church. Doing the traditional way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 you want something, Dad? Yes, I see for $4.99. How about a piece of bread? Boar's head. That's boar's head. Oh. And that's very good. I don't eat them all. Boar's head is usually more expensive. They're hard. That's sourdough plant. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is garlic. He already got it. Jokey's getting heavy. Oh, we certainly are together. Uh, excuse me. Togetherness. Pardon me. Some bread. Here's oh, ice bucket no. if anybody needs ice. I, my yeah, stepmom. Uh, my stepmom. Step, I mean, that's right. Your mother died when you were little. Matt? Your, I said, your stepmother, where did she live when, when you were on York, High Street? In New York, so in New York, I was well, in a house lived already. lived in 85th Street, 89th Street, in New York City. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with your owned. father, then? What? With your father? Then? No, she lived with his yeah, brother. Yeah, well, my father passed away, and she lived with Uncle Al. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. wait a minute. I thought Uncle Al... Wait a minute, Uncle Al. Uncle Al got married in his 50s to this woman who took him for everything he had. For Sylvia. What about... And then she moved in with uh, his sister. 
He moved in with his sister. With Lil. Boy. That's right. That's what I was going to say. Because I remember they lived in the same place in Brooklyn. Was she a made up doll? Yeah. The lash. That thing yeah. used to make up like nobody's business. I think I, I met when, her once. I think I met her once. I, I called her on, oh, I met her, yeah. her on the phone and I said, why don't you leave my brother alone? She says, I would never do it. But she did, they divorced. You know what? She wouldn't let him sit on a chair. She had antique furniture. <laughs> Back then, the antique <laughs> was a 19. As a matter of fact, she had a co-op or a condo in, in Jackson Heights, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Co-op, I guess. She didn't have condos those days. It was co-ops. He, he was co -op. Yeah, co-op. They were co -op. Oh, yeah? He was the type of guy who wanted to lay out on the couch. And you know them She wouldn't let him. Hmm. How's school? Okay. Are you still you going to school? Still the same boys, and you work. I got with new. It. I got all new kids this year. Is there? Do you well, teach all ages, or just? No, uh, 17 to 21. Oh, I got the old ones. I've well, had them because I do on-the-job training. Remember, I was telling. I think last time you were here, I was telling. You, you I can't the airport. You still but break I'm them. You still break them in, and then teach them. Do like a trade. Are they, they mentally retarded? Or? Uh -huh. Well, I noticed. Publix has them. Yeah. We else? have a group going to Walmart. We have three teachers from our school that do this. We Walmart. Have, we have Walmart, Walmart now, and they're them. wonderful with the kids. They really are. And I'm going somewhere. I don't know where the second half of the school year. I'm going someplace new. Out of the airport. You know, the airport, the, the kids need different experiences. Well, we're just food service at the airport. Do, how, do you, how do you teach them, like, for Walmart? You take them to Walmart? I don't do it in other teachers, but yeah, they go on a bus. They go on a school bus, and they go oh. over there from 10 to 9.30 to 12, 30, 12.15. And they, they call it detrashing the shoes. They take the paper out. You know when you get shoes come in from a company and the paper and the, all this stuff? They take all this stuff out, and they put them to go out onto the racks. And um, they clean up. They have a boy that cleans up. You know, they have them pull things forward, line up. Um, I don't know what else, because I haven't been over there, but they do all kind of things okay. for Walmart. They hang clothes, they come out of a box, and they yeah. hang them on the, on the hangers and hang them up. That's good. Publix cake. What would you like? Just thinking for him. I How tried. Believe me, he doesn't you touch the stuff. Mark, what you would you like? Sweets? You got a new one? No. Yogurt. Mark, anything sweet? What kind? Mark, I got, I got it. Yogurt. 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 Yogurt
Uh, uh, hot wings. having applesauce. Uh, uh, applesauce? Uh, no, Judy, what else? Buffalo wings. <laughs> buffalo wings? He's having carrot yeah. cake. That's another. Hot buffalo wings? Do you want yogurt on it? Oh, yeah. uh, no. Portion. Cheerios. Well, here it is. I'm having an apple bake, whatever the apple stuff is. Go wash them off. Can I have a plate? There's bread pudding, isn't it? They got something? Anybody want something to drink? Coffee, tea, anything? Oh, Sam, you want coffee? I have some coffee. You want some coffee? I'll, I'll have coffee you want it? You want it, uh, you want it uh, leaded or unleaded? <laughs> Either way, whatever you make. Whatever's popular. Diesel. I have it. The one decaf. One decaf, two leaded. Nobody else wants yogurt? Now we can go to... Uh, <laughs> Let's Cheerios, no matter what. Are those the plain ones? Or the, the Where's that place that they, they give you free break, free uh, dinner? Body of four. No, Tony, Rhodes, you have yeah? to have like... Mm -hmm. Four people with you or something. Usually, oh, usually you got to be five or four. I'll bring yeah, my so girlfriend spend and the some kids. Because mm -hmm. they're not going to give it to you for... Who knows? Nobody. Oh, it's my birthday. I want to come in and eat. Here, I'll take a bite. Boy, it's good. That's wonderful. Too much hair. Well, Matthew has a bag of dollars. That's right. And the whole kitchen floor was covered with the tail like that. He needed a tail like that. He's got a percentage of it. Well, he's got a cash or percentage of it. And he's, but he's a friend. Like oh, Mom, you're going to make yeah, a sick. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. He's some roll in it. Or something. <laughs> okay, Mark can take him home. <laughs> Mark, Mark can send the kid. I'm going to send him uh, home. He's the grandkids go home. Let the mothers take care of him. Let the fathers take care of him. I can make it. Yeah, but too much. Okay, that's... Oh, you're not ucking again. No, he's just full. I'm full. Now I know where that roll came from. What roll? That stomach roll. Oh, I don't think he eats much of this. You don't eat much of this, do you, Mom? Yeah. There must be something attracting them. We rent it when we go on those trips. We rent a car. We don't use our own car. We rent it. Yeah. 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 But we've got our. Uh, oh, it's thundering. Goodbye. Watch him, Mark. Max. Max. Okay. okay. Thank you. Don't, 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 Keep watching. Yeah. I don't, it doesn't have to be perfect because it never gets transmitted perfect. <laughs> so you keep it stuff. That's what's nice about it. I don't have to be perfect. <laughs> That's his exercise. I don't know who's getting more exercise, you or Max. He loves it. You can catch me. Oh, they stayed later today. What is it, 5 o'clock? Yeah. I saw he gone. Inside. He didn't come out? I thought he was out here. Oh, you know what? Do you have an edge or a weed eater on me? Yeah, but I haven't got I didn't get that.
Let's give him a warm welcome. Arnold Kleiner. Hey. Hello, everybody. I want you to know you're about to hear a poetic show. You may have heard verse done before, but listening to these, there's a treat in store. There are those you may not have liked in the past, but these should please you right up to the last, since they were selected for folks like you who might ask for more. So sit back, relax, let this pleasure be yours. If you like what I do, I'll accept your applause. And so with that, away we go. Woo! <laughs> I'm going to do for you, I'm fine. There's nothing whatever the matter with me. I'm just as healthy as I can be. I have arthritis in both my knees. And when I talk, I talk with a wheeze. My pulse is weak, my blood is thin, but I'm awfully well for the shape I'm in. My teeth eventually have to come out. My diet, I hate to talk about it. I'm overweight and I can't get thin, but I'm awfully well for the shape I'm in. Art supports I have for my feet, or else I could not walk on the street. Sleep, it's denied me every night, and every morning I'm a sight. My memory is fading, my head's in a spin. I'm practically living on aspirin, <laughs> but I'm awfully well for the shape I'm in. The moral is, as this tale I unfold, that for you and me, who are growing old, it's better to say I'm fine with a grin than to let them know the shape we're in. Thank you. I was traveling cross country and I went into a motel. I got to talking to the manager and one thing led to another about poetry and he looked under the counter and he picked up a card and he handed me this card and this is what the card said, if I had the power to turn back the clock, I'd go back to that house at the end of the block, to the house that was home when I was a kid. And I know that I love it more now than I did. If I could go back there, at my mother's knee and hear all the things that she used to tell me, I know that I listen as I never listened before, for she knew so well what life had in store. And all the advice that my dad used to give, his voice I remember as long as I lived. What didn't seem so important then, what I wouldn't give to live over again. And all what I'd give for the chance I once had to do so much more for my mother and dad, to give them more joy, a little less pain, a little more sunshine, a little less rain. But life moves on. And we cannot go back, whether we were born in a mansion or a shack. But we can start right now, in the hour that's here, and do so much more for those we hold dear. And time in its flight is moving by fast. So let's not waste it by regretting the past 
But let's make tomorrow a happier day by doing our good unto others today. You know, an actor lives by applause, <laughs> but he needs money too. <laughs> yeah. This is a little short one. If I knew you, and you knew me, if each of us could clearly see, and wouldn't it incite divine the meaning of your heart, and mine, I'm sure that we would differ less and clasp our hands in friendliness. The why of us, our hearts would see if I knew you and you knew yet me. Right. And This big city that has no end. Yet days go by and weeks roll on. Before I know it, a year has gone and I never see my old friend's face. For life is a swift and terrible race. I know he likes me just as well as in the days when I rang his bell, and he rang mine, we were younger then. Now, we are busy, tired men. Tired of playing a foolish game. Tired of trying to make a name. Tomorrow, I say, I'll call on Jim, just to show that I think of him. Tomorrow comes. And tomorrow goes, and the distance between us grows and grows. Around the corner, yet miles away, here's a telegram, sir. Jim's died today. And that's what we get and deserve in the end. Around the corner, a vanished friend. this card is the answer and it is apropos today in fact maybe more so than when she wrote it we read the headlines daily and we listen to the news we are anxious and bewildered by the world's conflicting views we are restless and dissatisfied and totally insecure and we voice our discontentment over things we must endure. For this violent age we live in is filled with nameless fears that grow as we discuss the things that come daily to our ears. So instead of reading headlines that disturb the heart and mind, let us open up the Bible. And in doing so, we will find that this age is no different than thousands gone before. But in every hour of crisis, God has opened up the door to all who seek his guidance and believe in his plan. For God provides the answer that cannot be found by man. And though there is hate and violence and dissension all around, we can always find a refuge that is built on solid ground. If we go to God believing 
and he hears our smallest prayer, and then nothing can be us while we are in his care. For it's only in believing in the things we cannot see that all nations be united in a peace that makes men free. So we pray for guidance. May a troubled world revive faith in God and confidence that this nation may survive and bring us ever closer to God and to each other until every stranger is a friend and every man a brother. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you know folks, in every, every organization, you will find a person who will say, if I leave this organization, it will fall apart, right? Isn't that true? Well, I'm going to do for you sometime. <clears throat> sometime when you're feeling important. Sometime when your ego is in bloom. Sometime when you think that you are the most qualified in the room. Sometime when you think that your going will leave an unfillable hole. Just follow these simple instructions and see how they humble your soul. Take a bucket and fill it with water. Put your hand in it up to the wrist. Pull it out. And the hole that's remaining is exactly how much you'll be missed. <laughs> you, may, you may splash all you wish as you enter. You may stir the water galore. Stop. Wait for a moment. And you'll find it the same as before. The moral of this quaint lesson is to do as best as you can. Be proud of yourself, but remember there is no indispensable man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see. Um, I'll go from the ridiculous to the sublime or something. And in it, I think in, in the quiet, in the quiet of the evening, when the world has gone to rest, I find wonderful contentment, for I put aside my quest. I forget. The day now ended, and the things that came to be, and the magic of the silence has taken hold of me. Worries leave my mental storehouse just like birds upon the wing, and deep within my heart I find a tender song to sing. As a great big ball of fire sets in, horizons blue, there is beauty sent from heaven that my eyes are blessed to view. I feel God has made the evening so that man can realize the reason for his being here beneath those tranquil skies. So, whenever I am able in the evening light I pray to give me strength I need to face the cares that come with day. Thank you. Thank you. You're a, you're a lovely, you're a lovely audience. You're a lovely audience. Um, How about old New York? I'm going to, 
I think old New York. Old New York. Wait, that old New York. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking about that before, before I got here. How many of you people are from New York? Yeah. Uh, how many people have been to New York? All right. Well, I was, I was born in New York City. And I lived there when New York was beautiful. And I spent beautiful 22 years there. Of course, then I went to New Jersey. <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to, I wrote this poem, and I did this poem on Channel 7 in Miami, and while I was doing the poem, they had two cameras depicting scenes of New York City that I covered. So it was a thrill for me to be able to do it. When I was young and things were free, New York City was the place to be. Botanical garden with flowers so rare, aquarium with fish, nowhere to compare. Central Park had much for you, birds and animals in the zoo. Obelisk transported from Egypt here. People viewed it from far and near. Pleasures there were constantly found, skating on ice or on the hot ground. A refreshing road through Central Park Lake or a stroll through the park on a summer's eve day. Try and do it now. Oh, no, you will was a city with many flares, men pushing pushcarts, battling words. Love, laughter, music, a city in song. Harmony prevailed throughout the great throng. The Bowery, full of fascinations, and I went there. The bums, elevator stations sightseeing buses with people on tour, known far and wide as a great tourist floor. Broadway lights, a magnificent sight, score of big shows every night, window shopping for visual delight, world famous dining, food safe, just right. Through narrow Chinatown streets we go, lightnings lit, shops all aglow, wonderful things for folks to see, something new, they would always be. We find a much changed city there today. You can't make merry in the same old way. The living patterns have drastically changed losing much for which it was fame. Broadway has lost its magical lure. Go out after dark, you can feel secure. Nothing much is left there for free. New York City isn't. You can end it, but it used to be. Bring us 
on our way, a mind to direct between right and wrong, a voice to sing a lovely song, a memory not to forget kind deeds, a disposition that will always please, an open heart as we go life's way, a smile for those we pass each day. If we are granted all of this, give thanks to God for eternal bliss. I'm going to do the very first poem that I wrote. That's 1969, I started to write. I looked in a magazine and I saw a racehorse and I said, life is a race. Life's like a horse race. We all hope to win. If the going's hard and rugged, can you take it on the chin? There are times we wish for something, hoping it will come to be. But in life, things can be far-reaching. That's most obvious to see. We may wish for fame and glory, but it's very hard to get. Unless you work and strive for it, there's no reason for regret. For just like in the horse race, we all aim to come in first, but we've got to give it all that's in us if we wish to win the purse. Thank you. You've been a beautiful audience. I thank you. Thank you for your applause. May the good Lord bless and keep you all. And until we meet again, I'm going to say, the time has come to close my show. Before I go, I want you to know, it's been my pleasure to be here with you. I hope that you enjoyed it too. And so, thank you, and so until we meet next time, always remember to think in line. God bless you. We all want to uh, go on record as saying that uh, we appreciate your good nature, your good heart, and you are a great guy. Uh, we are. Uh